Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazztime.com. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. We offer these lowest prices anywhere online. If you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch from jazztime.com once in a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into our review. Today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 31. Reference number for this watch is 178384. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movements towards, uh, towards the end of the video. Okay, so with typical Datejust, uh, as we move on to the dial, with typical Datejust dials, we have the Rolex crown, Rolex crown logo at the 12 o'clock position. The date went off the 3 o'clock position with a Cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification and easier viewing of that date. And of course the hour marker specifically for this watch I have in my hand here in the Roman numerals. With the date just being a very dressy watch, um, you can have multiple different options for your choices when you're purchasing a date just. So I have here the Roman numerals in my hand, but you can also get it in a black, white, blue, rhodium, pink, and specifically for the Roman numerals, uh, specifically for the Roman numerals, also a brown or purple dial colors. For the, if you're not interested in the Roman numerals fashioned in 18 karat white gold, you can get the index hour markers, which will have luminosity on the hour markers and the minute and hour hand, as these hands are just a nice uh, pure white gold for each hand, even including the seconds hand as well. Uh, but you can also get the index hour markers in the white, uh, white, black, blue, rhodium, pink. And if you're looking for Arabic numerals, then you can only get that in the black dial. If you're feeling a little more luxurious, you want to match the you know this beautiful diamond uh, diamond bezel with the dial as well. You can also buy uh, buy in a diamond dial, which has the hour markers replaced by a diamond, and you can get that in the pink, blue, rhodium, or black dial colors. And of course, the mother of pearl option is typically available for the Datejust, which and you can get in the white mother of pearl or black mother of pearl dial with diamond hour markers. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the bezel now. So the bezel, as you can see, very beautiful bezel. It's a diamond-sided a diamond -sided bezel all the way around. The bezel, the diamonds set in the bezel is actually set in a white gold, uh, white gold bezel. As you can see, the light captures on the diamonds very nicely, very beautifully. Um, Rolex specifically doesn't have any uh, references to their references to their diamond clarity, um, but I believe uh, from numerous different articles and sources, the quality of the Rolex diamonds are usually around F through G range in color. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the case now. So the case size is a 31 millimeter case size as stated by the Rolex Datejust 31 name. So from my index finger to my thumb here, that's 31 millimeters in diameter. Beautiful high polish on the top lugs and the bottom lugs of the case, matching with that nice overall shine from the hour markers, the diamonds, and also the white gold, the white gold setting of the bezel. On the side of the case, you can see very beautiful high polish that matches with the bracelet. The thickness, not too thick, doesn't sit too high on the wrist, so will fit under suit cuffs, dress cuffs very nicely. Um, on the other side of the case, we have a beautiful high polish once more, and we see the Rolex crown logo on the crown itself. The crown is a screw down, uh, screw down twin lock uh, double waterproofness system, and it simply unwinds counterclockwise as shown. And in the standard position for the for the crown, this is where you can wind the watch. About 15 to 20 clockwise turns is all you need to get the watch started once more from a dead stop. Tucking the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the date instantaneously, as shown. As you can see, very easy to use, very easy to do. Pulling the crown out to the next position will stop the second hand, as you can see from here. Keep your eyes out on the second hand. So we pull out to the final position. And the stopping in the second hand allows for precise timing, time settings such as to an atomic clock online. You can set it down to the exact seconds. And of course, you'll be able to set and adjust the time from here bi-directionally. Pressing the crown back in, we'll start that second hand once more. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case. As you want to keep the watch water resistant, uh, specifically for this day chest, you're looking at a water resistance of 100 meters or 330 feet. All right. 
Moving on to the bracelet now. So we have this beautiful Jubilee bracelet, which is a five piece link style bracelet. The center of the three, the center links, the three links in the center are nicely high polished to match with the lugs of the case as they're high polished as well, but also contrast with the outer of the five piece links that are nicely sand finished uh, next to the high polish to make, uh, to really bring out more of that shine on the bracelet. As you can see, it patterns throughout very nicely all the way through. And look, as we move on to the class now, the class is actually just located by this Rolex Crown logo that breaks the patterning on the Jubilee. And opening it up, just simply pulling it out as so, we'll open up to reveal these nicely high polished class blades with the Rolex name embossed on there. So as you can see, that's how the bracelet looks opened up. And once again, closed. Very beautiful patterning on a concealed folding crown clasp allowing it to have that patterning. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the movement now. So the movement is housed in this oyster case back and it has a nice bordering of a high polish on it. The movement is a very simple movement. It's a it Rolex perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It's a caliber 2235 movement, which is a in-house made movement by Rolex with a precision of minus two plus two seconds a day, meaning it's within Swiss, uh, within Swiss specs, uh, which gives it the superlative chrono, uh, certified chronometer at the six o'clock position here on the dial. The functions of the movement is simply just the center, hour, minute, and second hand with the instantaneous changing of the date and the uh, stopping of the second hands for precise time settings I've shown you with the crown functions. The power reserve of this watch is a 48 hour power reserve, meaning you can put this down on a Friday, put this watch out on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. All right, now let me go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now. So once again, locate that crown, Rolex crown logo to open up that folding, oyster, that folding clasp. Closing it up as so, you can see, very beautiful watch, that dial, that silver dial, just looking absolutely gorgeous with the Roman numerals, those diamonds really bringing more, uh, really bringing more to the face of the watch, making it shine and shine very nicely with the high polished lugs on the case. You can see that Jubilee patterning throughout just looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, so if you're interested in this watch or any other watch at the lowest possible price, check out our website, jazzm.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer you a one-year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video. Click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.